This part of Big Sur reminds me of Highway, I want to say, 33 that connects uh, Ojai to, I guess, the Montecito area. It's one way I sometimes take when I'm going from LA to Santa Barbara. It's a little bit uh, out of the way, but it's a beautiful area. Uh, the road itself is usually in some state of disrepair or other, but it's still a beautiful area. It's just a nice scenic route to take. And I love it. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of this road because this road is also poorly paved <laughs> in a lot of places, but it's also super beautiful. Thank you for looking. But yeah, the uh, the mountainous terrain, the forested area, uh, all right on the coast, reminds me a lot of the, the Ojai area, which I hope to travel through again sooner rather than later. I've never actually stayed in Ojai, but there's a lot of camping there. You can camp out by the lake and stuff. So that's something I'd like to try in the future. Let's see if I ever get a chance. Oh, for goodness sake. It's so easy to get frustrated by bugs getting splattered on your helmet, especially right after you just finished washing it off. But it's, it's just part of being a motorcycle raider. Motorcycle raider! Motorcycle rider. If I'm not mistaken, this is where the redwood forest begins. You should see some freaking huge giant trees around here. I should keep my eyes on the road, but enjoy these big old huge giant wonderful lovely trees. Brought to you by Drift. There's gas. God only knows what it costs out here. I've only used about a like a gallon and a half so far, so I should be fine. Actually, I might be okay all the way to San Francisco. I'm sure I'll be fine, at least to Monterey. Have I been here before? I have been here before. There's a little river down in there. What time is it? Should I go look at the river? Yeah, let's go look at the river. Oh, stay within the white line. Uh, sort of. Maybe I can use their bathroom. I'll buy gas. Better safe than sorry anyway. But I will get it at the sh Chevron and not the Valero. No, I'm wrong again. Because the Valero is near the river that I want to look at. So what am I doing? I'll figure this out somehow. God, the first running water I've seen in 36 hours. First soap I've seen in 36 hours. Oh yeah, clean hands. <laughs> having to use an outhouse and not having anywhere to wash your hands when you're done is kind of, it feels kind of gross to somebody who's used to living with modern amenities. But they say it builds character. And then right down here is the river. And it's, it's really, I think this is one of the coolest spots to chill in the world because the river is consistently sort of low and, well, I guess it's more like a stream or a creek or something. I don't know what it would technically be called, but it's pretty cool because it's consistently at this level, so they set these chairs out in it, and you can sort of like sit in the chair and relax with your feet in the water, the river trickling by under you. It's pretty cool. Actually, I guess sometimes it's a little higher up because some of these chairs, it looks like sometimes it comes up as high as the bottom of the roots of these trees up here. It's not as high as it could be. But, yeah, it's a cool little spot. I think it's neat. I wanted to share it. That's all. Beautiful area. Got a fresh tank of gas. and Now I should be good until San Francisco. 
I'm thinking maybe sometime after Monterey I'll stop and uh, pull out my headphones so that I can use the GPS on my phone while I ride because otherwise I have no idea how to find where I'm going in San Francisco. Nevada. I'm a little bit nervous about trying to find my way around there. But hopefully GPS will come to the rescue. But at least I shouldn't need any more gas for the rest of the trip. Famous last words, right? Uh-oh, spaghetti-o. I forgot to plug in my camera. Let's see if I can do this without stopping. Don't try this at home, kids. around or something plugging in a USB cable shouldn't be this difficult just a little hint for anybody who's riding any riders who ever need to park someplace where the ground is a little bit soft maybe and they don't trust the kickstand you can see what I did here the ground is very soft it's very it's almost sandy the dirt is very loosely packed there's a lot of pine needles and stuff so the tires being very broad will sort of sit on top of all of this debris. They won't sink into it very much, but the kickstand will penetrate right through it. And then the bike would flop over if I just tried to lean it down on the pine needles. But if you can find something that's big and broad and has a lot of surface area, you can put that down and it'll also rest on top of the dirt and sort of pack it down. And then you can put the kickstand on that. So I just found this rock, prop the kickstand up on that. And then I was able to take my picture of this big huge mamma jamma of a tree which thankfully hasn't dropped any twigs or uh, I guess logs on me since I've been here motor mercs motorcycle hint of the day It's the bridge that I loved, uh, I don't know about the most, but it's a pretty awesome bridge. Built in 1932, I guess. Pretty sweet bridge. I believe this is one of the old, yeah, historic bridge. One of the ones that was originally built as part of the PCH that's starting to deteriorate a little bit too much and I'm not sure what their plans are for it, it makes me sad